Hey, everybody. Welcome. I am your host. I'm Brendan Lemieux, the formal, the greatest, the one and the only, the middle son, the middle child, the middle of something. I'm your peanut butter and jelly. I'm your turkey. I'm the ham. Todd, how you doing? <laughs> Great. Hey, Dad, you're up. How you doing, Dad? How much meat are you putting on the sandwich? I mean, geez, protein. Gotta go protein heavy. That's my diet now. Oh, protein Lord. Heavy. Protein, feed the train. Dad, how you doing? I'm doing excellent. Excellent. Hey, we're going to start with a segment called the overpaid train, folks. If you recall, there's a state in our lovely union called California. They have the speed rail to nowhere, as they say. That's right, they have not built a train, they're not going anywhere, and this train is what you're gonna put these players on because they're not going anywhere either. Dad, who has joined the overpaid train? Well, first Basically. guy first guy comes to mind, lives right here, rides on horses on his ranch, is Madison Baumgartner, who just got released. So he's gonna get paid over thirty million dollars. To not play baseball. If he gets picked up by another team, they're going to pay him minimum. So the the Diamondbacks are going to be paying $30 million to just go away. Don't come in the dugout. Just leave us, please. So I would say Madison's got a good chance to maybe even be the engineer on the um, overpaid train. What and happened there? to him in the last game that he played in? He had like a breakdown or something. Oh. He got mad because uh, the batter swung the bat hard or something. <laughs> he he uh, got mad. Yeah. Wilson uh -huh. Contreras. And uh, he got mad. And Wilson Contreras then took credit for making him quit baseball. <laughs> Are you serious? Well, he didn't quit. He was told to quit. No. So we'll see. Uh, we've done this before. We paid Russ Ortiz about $20 million to go away. We just keep upping the amount we pay to please just don't come in our dugout. Don't come in the dressing room. Don't take a shower with us. Yes. Just go away. It's inflation. Yeah. It's there. Are we, are we worried about his friend that they signed? Longoria. Uh, no, Longoria actually hits the ball once in a while, so he is not embarrassing him. The problem with Baumgartner is that every fifth day you were going to guaranteed to get clobbered. All right. So here's some, these are some terrible, st this is first class ticket. This is one of those cards that you get to put your whole family in. It has to be, these stats are unbelievable, folks. And four starts, total innings pitch is 16 and two thirds and four starts. Mm. That is miserable. A 10 26 ERA. He's 0-3, so he didn't even lose one of those games, which means the Diamondbacks scored a bunch of runs for him. He had 10 strikeouts, and he faced 90 batters, 15 walks, 20 runs, 19 earned. His whip is a 2.4, 2.4. <laughs> oh, it's so terrible. $30 when, million. Dollars. When did he Don't start going south? Oh, um, he was he wasn't I mean, good last year. He just wasn't embarrassing like this year. I think two or three times last year they had to put him on the disabled list because he wasn't doing well. When um, last year, when did he on. sign this contract? He signed the contract in 2020. I'll tell you his little stats. He was uh, pitched 34 games for the Giants in 2019. He had a 3.9 ERA. He was nine and nine, so not anything to write home about. The Diamondbacks signed him to a massive deal. 2020, he pitches. Uh, nine games. Then 2021, 2022, it's 26 and then 30 games. His ERAs those years are 4, 6, 3, 4, 8, 5. And then this year it just ballooned. He's only just 33. So, His fastball so can't even get over 90 now. Just so everybody knows, one of the reasons why the Diamondbacks were able to sign this talent is they were all... Oh, they were okay and would allow him to do ranching activities in the off season. This is As a Mets know. fan, I can tell you that ranching activities are unacceptable in anybody you sign for any period of time ever, 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 ever. So the, Di the Diamondbacks thought, hey, this guy's got a great history and he loves to be on his ranch. 
And he's young. going to give us, yeah, young. He's not, 33 is very young considering Verlander. He's 33 now when he signed that yeah. contract. He's what, 29? 30. Yeah. 30 years 29. Old. He is 30 year old going here into the contract. This is, uh, this Jeez, is, that's a 10 year contract by DeGrom standards. <laughs> this, is, this is an overpaid train. This is a, a bad, the pain train, the overpaid train. This is just painful. The Diamondbacks got rid of him. And they're going to look up this season because they don't have to have him pitch every, what, fifth start? Thank God. This isn't an overpaid train. This is an overpaid Elon Musk starship. 100 million metric tons of overpaid rocket headed straight to Mars. That's what this one is. They learned something on that launch. We're not learning anything on this launch. <laughs> there is, there's no data that we're collecting on Madison to give or learn. So you can't Who look signs at signs him? The A's. Uh, so Madison Bumgarner was a national hero in San Francisco. He was a World Series hero there. Right. He was uh, just, he was tremendous. And they gave up on him. They, they noticed that his ERA had gone up, his pitch didn't have much speed anymore, and he's a hero, and they said, we're not, we're not going any further with this. So that should have been a big red flag to not throw, what do we all pay him, 50, 60 million or something? Per pitch? No, I mean total contract. Oh. Well, how long until the Mets sign him, since we can't keep a pitcher healthy? I mean, at this at this point, anybody can sign the guy for the league minimum. Is it sure. is it a problem? Like, would you? I mean, like, he can't, he can't do worse. He can't yeah. pitch. He can't pitch. Like, it's not good. Uh. So yeah, it's definitely on the overpaid train, and he's being released. I mean, I I like the fact that he's in good company with ex Diamondback players. Matt Harvey's the same age. No, Matt Harvey looks really old, though. Matt Harvey feels like he's 50 years old and that he's been around Major League Baseball since Canseco was a rookie, but he's actually the same age as Baumgartner. Here's the worst part. So the Diamondbacks deferred $5 million of his contract to 2025, 6, and 7. Well, that, that's not bad. Like $5 million a year or $5 million total? He signed five years, $85 million when he signed the contract. If you look at the Diamondbacks team as far as their uh, overall team salary, yeah. I think he's I think he's a huge percentage of that team salary. Yeah, they're they're yeah. oh, it's bad. So he was he was the highest paid player before he was removed. Um Yeah, I've, well, oh, I think his payroll, twenty-three. He's, he's twenty-three like a third of the payroll of the team. Twenty-three million dollars of a seventy-eight million dollar payroll. Wow, that was that was his payroll. So yeah, it's a third. It's a third of the team. A fourth. It's a fourth. No, 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 no. Your math is way better than mine. That's really bad. They didn't get to a hundred million dollars. Oof. Well, he's not the only one on that train. Okay, no. who else is who else is riding with him? Madison Bumgarner, choo choo. Take a look at Josh Donaldson and the Yankees. Ooh, I like Josh Donaldson. Ooh, what is he doing? You have to write checks to. Tell me more on that one. Unless you have to write checks to. Yeah. Josh Donaldson is making how much money? Oh, has he been released already? Twenty-seven million. Twenty million. Oh, is he? No, he's on. He's has a hamstring injury. That's why, twenty-one million dollars. He's old. He has a hamstring injury. What? Well, look at his stats. Oh well, well hold on. He has a hamstring. He's oh, 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 one twenty-five. He has a home run. <laughs> I mean, Madison Bumgarner had a strikeout, so I guess you know. Have you looked at the injured list for the Yankees right now? I, w I think we should. Who do you have on the injured list, Todd? Uh, Gene Carlos. Oh yeah, Stanton. Carlos Radon, Josh wait, wait, Donaldson. Wait, wait. Money. Just tell me the money of each of these players. Donaldson's 21 million. Yeah. Stanton is how much? 32. Oof. Radon is 22. Well, 23 million. I think every one of those guys just equates the A's whole payroll. <laughs> Jeez. Luis Severino, 15 million. 
Holy cow. I mean, this is brutal. Do they have $100 million on that thing? Um, 30, 50, 70, 85. Yeah. Yeah. They're in a hundred. Because you have a seven and a half, a five, seven, a five, two, a four, one, and a two, two. It's hard to put someone on an overpaid train when they're hurt, but the Yankees could take a whole car on this train. They, yeah, they could. Yeah. Yeah. They absolutely could. Yeah, but their 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 payroll salary is very different than the Diamondbacks. The Diamondbacks to pay a player a third of your salary and then tell him to go away. The, mm-hmm. the Yankees can do that. Like Donaldson's what ten percent, if not less than the team that salary. Yeah, that I mean, he's is. yeah he's less than ten percent. They're at two seventy nine. To- yeah, yeah. So you're less than ten percent. The Diamondbacks are. It's terrible. It's, it's even worse. And but the Yankees, yeah, but the, are, the Yankees and Diamondbacks still have positive win loss, right? So are they really suffering? You're winning. I mean, the Diamondbacks on total are one fourteen, so they are twenty. It's he is twenty on the on the flip side. <sighs> the Cardinals are not getting the value they paid for anywhere. Oh my lord, the Cardinals. If you're a Car- Cardinals baseball fans love their team too. Do they hate their team? They're there is bad Rockies. Uh, What's their problem? Are they have a pitching problem or something? Um I, they have a they have a left on base problem. They have a, a hitting problem. They hit, but they don't hit to bring people in. Too many, too many left on base. Nolan Arenado has started off terrible. Yeah. It's it's just been a bad all the way around season for the Cardinals. I mean, the fact that they're they're literally one win up on the Reds right now. Who had that? Who had that in their betting odds? And who- nobody, nobody. I think you guys both picked the Cardinals for first place. No, 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 no. I had the Cubs. Dad had the Cardinals. I was a Cubby. I did okay. not believe Milwaukee was going to start off this hot, and I can darn well guarantee you the Pirates were not in my pick. I had the Pirates in Cincinnati to see who would get the 40 wins first. Heck, the Pirates may have 40 wins before July. This is crazy. We are never going to buy the team at this rate. We need them to collapse. We need, like, do they understand what they're throwing away by winning? They're throwing away another Lemieux ownership team. They're <laughs> the opportunity to work with the best. I mean, we are the best. This I mean, we have great ideas. We have genuinely out of this world ideas but look at the the cubs are in third place right by three games but look at the cubs run differential they're a plus 39 on their run differential pittsburgh is plus 25 milwaukee's plus 27 milwaukee's plus 27 yeah cardinals are negative two negative two so, you, like you listen, you want to you want to talk value. Nobody on the Cardinals is delivering value for that team right now. I'll just leave it at that. So that's very true, very true. Um, I would say that uh, the Pirates are a very big surprise. Are we have anybody else on the overpaid train besides Donaldson and Bumgarner? That dad you want to put on there? Well, the other one's not fair. Because you can't uh, get mad at the not, guy for being injured, but Justin Verlander's making a lot of money and he hasn't thrown a pitch. No argument here. Justin, Justin, Justin. You know, we have a brother, Justin. Should we call him up and see if he's feeling better? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe he, bring it over to the other Justin. But absolutely. Uh, Justin, I hope you're feeling better. Well, there's a get rumor the Mets are going to bring him back against the Detroit Tigers just to boost his ego. Ooh, that would boost my ego. I think I could pitch. To Javier Baez a couple of times. That only, that's three guaranteed strikeouts. Maybe four if he gets the last that long. Right. All right. So he's injured. You got two injured guys. Anybody playing that just makes you want to throw up every time they do something? Manny Machado. <laughs> no, what's what he Manny Machado doing? Manny Machado, I know that he's making $31.8 million a year. Yes. Right. Um, let's look at his stats so far this year. Batting yeah. two, 220, 220. On base percentage is 250. Oh, wow. So it's not even like he's getting on base all that much. 22 strikeouts, one home run, seven RBIs. He's got 20 hits and 91 at bats. 
Um, and he's only walked four times. Ouch. Congrats. Did he, ju did he just sign a big deal with the Padres? No, I think he's a free agent after this year. No, and then Juan Soto. He's got ten years. Oh, forgive nope, me. He just that's right. He did sign. He signed the massive He deal. signed a that's massive right. deal. And he has now taken that massive deal to the bank. <laughs> well, yeah, take to the bank, wrapped a giant turd, and put it right in the middle of the bed. Congratulations, Padres. Is he sleeping on the train? Because after you sign that deal, your kind of whole body just kind of relaxes. Yeah. He has a spa. Gets a couple and, massages. And this you know, is that they, part in Inception where somebody's got to wake him up. And then we got our all-time favorite, who uh, is pitching worse than Bumgarner, but still on a team, is uh, Patrick Corbin. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Patrick Corbin's trying to beat his 19 <laughs> losses last year, and I, I hats off to him. He has gone the last two years, 9-16 and 6-19, and, and, and right now he's 1-3. He's committed to getting to 20 losses, and I, for that, I, I thank the Nationals for not dropping him. Yeah. If we're going to list Verlander, he can have as a bunk mate Steven Strasburg, who's making mm -hmm. gazoots of money and hasn't pitched, I don't know, has he pitched since the World Series? Yeah. He's, Maybe he has not pitched in a long time. Waiting for the playoffs again? Maybe? Maybe? Might be. Waiting Might. for the government takeover of the Nationals? Maybe? Hey, listen. Print that money. You know, well, we got some last hey. one. Last one. Last. Okay. Perennial rock star at third base on the overpaid train. This guy is the conductor, the ticket taker, the captain, and the porter. He will pack your bags and sit you right next to him. Anthony Rendon from the Los Angeles Angels. What's this guy getting paid? The most of any third baseman. Yeah. And what's he batting? Die. 217. Oh. Zero home runs, nine RBIs. And he, and he didn't even hit that fan. Like, he had an easy one. He could have just punched him. It's didn't even hit him. Just. And his war is negative. He got negative war. That's really hard. To Can you imagine being the highest? You're the highest paid guy at your position in the whole one out. And, like, you are getting paid the most of anybody and you are delivering a value below the average player at your position look yourself in the mirror when you sign that check so did the washington nationals win the world series that wasn't a covid year right that was a regular year no no I, I, it was a regular year legend has it this occurred Yep. So they beat the, uh, yeah, they won it. But look at the, what's happened. Corbin uh, pitched well in the World Series. Rendon starred in the World Series. Not, and then you got Strasburg was big deal. And they had some great pitcher named uh, Scherzer. Yep. Who is not around. At least they're not. Oh, they are paying him. They are. Well, yeah, Scherzer's getting $43 million. From the Nationals. What? He's... he's He's getting money from the Nationals. He's getting money from the Nationals, too. I'm, sh I'm sure I read that. Oof. I love it. I love it all. I love the Washington Nationals. I love the plan. You win the World Series, like the Diamondbacks, and then just take the it. The Washington's the just like our government. We send money to all kinds of countries. They don't even have to be an ally. We just send them money. Washington does that with their players. You don't even have to play for us. We'll send you a check. So, I'm still, wait a so, second. I just looked up Scherzer's country. This guy's getting forty-three million this year from the Mets and fifteen million from the Nationals. <laughs> He's making fifty-eight million dollars. <laughs> then what? Why aren't we making money from the Nationals? Holy cow! <laughs> Listen, Nationals. The next time you're at, out there paying somebody, we we will announce your games for free. <laughs> this is just defer. Holy Scott Burris is the king. He is the absolute king. There's nobody better than this guy. This contract's insane. How has this not been highlighted? <laughs> what What did you do? You know, Max. the more you talk about this, the better the Baumgartner deal looks. <laughs> <laughs> 58 million for one year. This is, 
This is when the guys at Dumb and Dumber watch the bus go off and the guy turns to him and he goes, do you realize what you've done? <laughs> it says, we pay, any of the paying him 15 million a year until 2028. <laughs> this is historic. And he's getting 43 million from the Mets. Oh, whoo. Wow. Hey, um, when when he when he married his wife, do you think they had that conversation of do you want to work or be a stay at home mom or do you <laughs> want like hobbies? Like you know, couples have that hard conversation of like how do we handle the bills and the kids? Like, like or, honey, get the rosin bag and I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so even like for instance, he gets ejected from that game and and like just so right? stupid. Doesn't he lose some part of his salary? Like, does it even matter? Because the fifteen million gets paid regardless. I yeah. Um, I don't think he's behind on any bills. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. It would be great if he was, though. <laughs> it would be great if he was like, I couldn't pay. I couldn't pay off that fifth McLaren I got. I actually have pulse issues right now. <laughs> Fantastic. This, this is, is these are the insane. The, these are the exciting deals when you sign up to be a Swing Batter podcast that you can get as well. We do deferred deals. We do salary checks. We are we are good for it. <laughs> I just for think it. that it's just great that it's the Nationals that are throwing all this money away because you don't have to do anything to make money if you're in Washington. No. Right? It just You just get checks. Maybe he's consulting them, like a lot of people consult Washington. He's a consultant for the Nationals. Who's all, all our elected officials? Do you think any of them work 30, 30 weeks a year and they make their checks no matter what and full guaranteed retirements? It's just great that Washington's following after the government. Who is the, the, the lobbyist for Max Scherzer? <laughs> This is crazy. Wow. I like this game. So this we need to add a couple extra cars onto the overpay train. This train is going to get longer as the season goes on. We didn't even mention people like Javier Baez or Oh my that. god. We got, oh, we got more we got we got more coming folks and then and please add them in the chat. Add your favorite player that you believe needs to be on there. As we change courses on this train and the train we send on its merry way by Madison, I hope you get your wonderful gift bag like you do at the Oscars. Um, I hope you enjoyed all the things Arizona has to offer, including your ranch, which we Diamondbacks paid off in a roundabout way. Us, the wonderful Arizonans did as well. As we go to our favorite part, the Todd, as you would put it, who, who are we comparing? Whatever two players. I love it when you announce this. It's Nimmo versus Trey Turner. Who's number one and who's number two? For those of you that don't follow this, I said Trey Turner is the mojo that is leaving the Dodgers and they won't be the same without them. And the Philadelphia Phillies have them and therefore the Phillies will be great. That prediction has not gone as I thought, as the Philadelphia Phillies are not that great. I believe where are they sitting in the standings, folks? Right now, the Phillies have had a tough start. I'm being very nice. They're 11 and 12. They actually come back pretty nicely, 11 and 12. They started way worse than that. The Mets are 14 and 9, doing a little better. But let's just compare the players because as Nimmo signed his, I believe his $165 million deal and Trey Turner signed, how much was Trey Turner's deal here? I forgot. Was it three? No, million? more. I think it was double. I mean, he is a shortstop and shortstops were a hot item. They were. Trey Turner is the highest paid Philadelphia Phillies. He's getting $27 million per year at 30. I think it was a 10-year deal for 200 and That's more than... No, 11, 11 years, $300 million for Trey Turner. It was eight years, 165 for Nimmo, if I remember correctly. Uh, you can correct my math. I yep. do a math on occasion. So Learn, learn how to slide, kids. That's the lesson. A little bit slide. different. Yeah, you said on the stop. team, though, doesn't Harper make more than Turner? Nope. No. Trey Turner is the most expensive played payer on the Philadelphia. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm sorry. I'm but back, just... back to our comparison, lest we get distracted by your yeah. ramblings. Um, Lots of ramblings. Let's look at their batting average. Batting right average. Right now, yeah. as of the recording, Trey Turner's 
hitting a respectable 293, which in today's world of baseball is Hall of Fame caliber, um, going to take the world to the next level. But uh, Brandon Nimmo's batting what? Go ahead. Say it. 350. 350, baby. And uh, let's, right. look, let's look at the on-base percentage. Brandon Nimmo's at 455. Yes. Trey Turner but is very good. At Trey Turner's at 340. Listen, Nim had a good not, week. That, he listen, had a good week. He had a really good week. He went off. He had an insane he had, week. He won he had, games for the Mets. The defense yes. in center field won games for the Mets. He is not he's not playing the way I thought he would play after signing that deal. He's certainly balling. Yes. He's in Trey Turner's category of of mojo. And the Mets need that because Lindor stinks. But we're not talking about Lindor. We're talking about Trey Turner versus Nimmo. So Trey Turner, Turner versus Nimmo, I would say right now, very early, very early. Yeah. But Nimmo has certainly come to play. And I have to say hats off because I did not think he would he would sniff 300 this year. I thought he would put too much pressure on himself. I thought he would try too hard. Trey Turner's been in this cloud. He's used to this air. He's used to the money. He knows what it's like to have order caviar in between innings. Yeah. Brandon Nimmo's getting used to this. I mean, there's a lot of pressure, a lot of money. Very focused, very driven, mm -hmm. very hats off, Nimmo. I'm very proud of you. I think that's uh, really good news that uh, Nimmo's doing well, but I still think Trey Turner's going to do better than him. But for this episode, Nimmo has the lead. I would agree with right, you. Round one to Nimmo. Yes, lots of rounds. 12-round fight, shall we say? Plug away. Let it go. Yes. Let it rip. So and that's and that's our Nimmo versus Trey Turner. We were we were, we were gonna do some more fun stuff here with our father, but he bounced out due to uh, Thanksgiving preparations. Yep. Do a year, year ahead planning. So the only thing I'll say, which is going to be the boringest part of this podcast, Todd, which team gets to forty wins first? This is a swing batter. This is only where you. I'm going to give you a couple teams and you tell me who gets to 40 first. Okay. These are the three teams that we have to we have to abide by. Who gets to 40 first? Okay. We have the Kansas City Royals. Ooh, that's tough. Versus the Colorado Rockies versus the Oakland A's. Ooh. That's your three team bracket. Who gets to 40 wins first? Well, okay. So right now, currently, Colorado's at seven wins right now. Oakland's at four wins and Kansas City is at five wins. So the question is, do we think Colorado has it in them to win 33 more games? Just period, 33 more games. Because I don't know if the A's have it in them to win 36 <laughs> more games this year. What's the worst team? Well, I think it was the 62 Mets. No, I thought it was the Detroit Tigers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they put together like 110 losses or something like that. Yes. Listen, I think Oakland's got to give a going away present to Oakland before they move to Vegas, and it might be the crown jewel of everything if they right. walk out of there uh, and we're not winning. So I think, this, who gets there first? This, I think Colorado gets there first. We have to, this is why we need dad. The Cleveland Spiders, the 1899 Cleveland Spiders had 20 wins and 134 losses. Wow. Somehow that, they were related to Bill Vec. I know it's way before his time, but in some way that team was related to Bill Vec. And clearly, clearly that's way before time. So if we just go to what are we looking at for teams that are in the era of normalcy um, out of the 1800s, out of the 19, 62 Mets had 40 wins. That's when we're getting there. Right. The 2003 Tigers had 43 wins. Okay. So it was the 62 Mets. Yeah, the, the 62 49. Mets, but the 62 Mets are fifth overall. The Braves of 35 at 38. The mm -hmm. A's of, the, can they beat the A's of 1916 with 36 wins? That's a good question. I think, well, the, I think the A's, I'm going to say A's are under 40 wins this year. That's so hard, but they're so bad. It's a brutal, under, it's a brutal truth that they have to face up to because. Is yeah. this like that, that scene and, and, and. Uh, what's that movie short the big short 
where he mm-hmm. goes and creates the odd maker in Vegas and says, I want to take a bet that Oakland won't win 40 games. Goes all the, the way guy, down the line. And the guy looks at him and goes, we'll take your money if you're going to give it to us. Yep, so, absolutely. Yep. Okay, so you say Oakland's the last team to get to 40. and you're I don't even they don't, think Oakland gets to you know, 40. <laughs> and, I you thought, know, and I was you know, thinking, I'm I'm thinking to myself, maybe Colorado gets there the, first. But Colorado I'm, versus Kansas City. I think Kansas City gets there first. I think Kansas City, Kansas City at least turns it around because they're in the same division as Detroit and and Chicago. And I know that everybody plays the teams the same and that type of thing. I I think Colorado uh, falls apart, has an has an epic collapse, and Kansas City gets to forty wins first. Kansas City to forty first before Colorado. I would I will agree with you because I think the A. NL West has started off really poor, which is why Colorado has more wins than they should. Mm. The NL West has had a bad start. None of those teams are shining. The Dodgers are not what they used to be. The Diamondbacks, the Padres aren't even what they are. And the Giants have been worse than we thought. So I think the Rockies will take a step back from their seventh win. Yeah. Flaming hot start, as they would put it. Uh, because the other teams are going to start playing good. But I do like uh, the Diamondback Dodger Padre will be fun to follow so far. I've been pretty happy with it. Yeah, and then, and, you, and you, listen, then Colorado's got to play. Um, who do they have coming up next? They have to play the uh, Guardians. They're in the midst of playing the Guardians. They just beat the Guardians uh, tonight. Um, so they have two more games against the Guardians, and they have the Diamondbacks. Then they've got Brewers, then the Mets the Red Hot Pirates, then the Phillies. It's going to be really difficult for them um, to get through this, uh, to get to 40 wins. So, Well, that's a, that's a really, this will be fun to watch from a swing batter perspective. Oakland under 40. Here's a better question for you. Do you think they go under 35? No, no, I don't think they're, think they're that bad. 35. <laughs> They've won four. They've won four already. And we're one tenth of the way through the season, right? We're about one tenth of the way. So you, yes, you thirty thirty five is terrible. It's that's the thing that's funny is thirty five is that bad. Yeah, under forty is really bad. It's like right. under forty is terrible. Well, under forty is historic. Y- yes, but thirty five is crazy. Right, crazy, crazy. Well, Billy Bean finally got his new stadium, and you know, yeah, it did a team. Did any owner gain more value so quickly than when they bought the 27 acres in Vegas? No. Leaving Oakland. Like, instant value. No. Not even close. Instant. I mean, you, if you think, I always think this about those Vegas teams now that they have the Raiders, which are obviously, they have on their own issues. But uh, the Las Vegas Knights have been great since they yep. moved there. I think the baseball team will be great. People travel there all the time. They get fans. They'll get fans from other teams. It'll be something to do. They should do, in all reality, the Vegas A's should have day baseball all the time. It, it, absolutely. You should have a day baseball game in Vegas, nighttime parties. Yep. That's what should happen. Now, you're going to have a dome on this. You're going to have a roof on the stadium anyway. You might as well. Everyone's going to have shows at nighttime. You might as well do the matinee show. Go watch a baseball game. Get the attendance. Let the kids... Give them the the. Give them you're the, you're in and out in two hours forty five minutes. Make it happen. This is give fantastic. Give something to do, right? Are, are are we gonna are we gonna try to hold out until our father is finds the power? Power is tough, tough. It's tough times. It is. Power is it tough. Is. Um, solar. The solar's going down. Sun setting. I would give him the same chance I give the A's. I'm going to forty wins or thirty five. I don't think the power's coming back. <laughs> Zero. The power's out. He's sweating it out all night. That's just the way it is. Yep. We, we, we're going to go through some great starts later. I'm sure we'll do another one, but uh, we'll do lots more. Anyways, this is your Swing Batter podcast, folks. This is where we get into the baseball nitty gritty. There, you, you know who's on the uh, overpaid train as it passes you by. Hopefully, it, when it goes through your city, it collects your players. Put in the chat who you think. Do you think A's get to 35? Do you think they get to 40? Do you think Todd's right? Do you think they go under 40? And then uh, we should do a vote on Nimmo versus Turner. Who would you mm-hmm. rather have? That Absolutely. Would be a good, that, that would be a good poll there on Twitter. We can do that. Uh, take your, uh, See how many people agree with me because Turner is the best slider in the history of sliding. 
and how many Mets fans follow us because of your your wonderful voice of radio. No. Any final thoughts here besides uh, our poor father dying on the Titanic of power? I don't know. If I, listen, uh, don't get on that overpaid train. Wherever you're at in life, don't get on that train. I think I want to be on that train. I want someone to pay me $30 million to go away. I, th- I mean, it, that sounds really... I that, still can't he, believe Scherzer's getting $58 million. <laughs> I can't. He's it's getting... Not, it's they, 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 they put this back because they didn't think he was going to play at his 40s, so there was like divert... His right. out. $15 million is nice, but add it on to the 40, it's like Max Scherzer's like, wow, I'm double-double. Oh, it's crazy. I'll go, Talk about the double cheeseburger, the double double meal. They should be a Max Scherzer meal at McDonald's. They should strike a deal where you get paid by two teams. Yeah. So when you order when you order one of the menu items, you get two items. Right. And it's My- a surprise. Because Max, I guarantee you, is like, oh, hot damn. I forgot I was getting paid by the Nationals this year. <laughs> Must be Nationals payday. <laughs> you know who do you know who's really sweating? His accountant who has to inform him of how many more taxes he has to pay. Well, I'm sure they got that figured out. They got, that, they got that figured out real good. Max, have you thought about buying Rome? <laughs> it's, it's a great write-off. You see, this uh, these buildings are crumbling, and they're really old. There's a lot of depreciation out there. Get it now. Get it now. Well, I'm your host, Brendan. That was Dad. Yeah. And like Leonardo DiCaprio, he got thrown off the, the shift by his <laughs> lady friend who probably hit the, hit the power button. Sad music and all that. Uh, that's Todd. Yeah. He's fantastic. I'm fantastic. We'll never be in the same room together, but when we are, magic happens. That's it, baby. You will, you, you will be impressed with the fireworks. Thanks so much, everybody. Have a good night. Good night.